So glaucoma is a disorder of high eye pressure, and the high eye pressure can be damaging to the eye in the same way that putting too much air in a tire can, can, can damage the tire. You run on the tire with too much air and it can damage it, and, and really in an irreversible way. So the, the goal behind glaucoma treatment is to lower the eye pressure. Uh, drops are very effective at lowering the eye pressure. We're fortunate now to have surgery to lower the eye pressure. And in the past, glaucoma surgery has been big, major surgery and um, has uh, met with moderate degrees of success. Uh, over the past five to 10 years or so, there's really been a revolution in glaucoma surgery. Glaucoma surgery has been miniaturized and now can be done at the very same time as cataract surgery in a very successful way, maintaining the very small incisions that we use for cataract surgery. We use the very same incisions um, for cataract surgery that we do for the glaucoma surgery. The glaucoma surgery is done at the very same setting. It's under the same anesthesia. It's just one continuous process after the glaucoma, after the cataract surgery has been done, the glaucoma surgery ensues. Uh, devices, very, very, very small devices are used in the natural drainage channels of the eye to enlarge or open those drainage channels so that pressure can drain from a higher pressure area to a lower pressure area. This lowering of eye pressure is very effective. Uh, patients that get glaucoma surgery at the very same time they get cataract surgery can often uh, reduce their need for glaucoma drops. Uh, they certainly get a safer um, profile, less likely to lose vision from glaucoma. They often can get off the drops and, and um, it doesn't take uh, much time in addition to the cataract surgery to do. They're all, almost always covered by insurance too. So it's, it's really a revolution. Uh, people that have glaucoma at the same time they have cataracts they always, almost always offer concomitant surgery, surgery done at the very same time uh, for those patients.